be came here. Your presence is here. We thank you, O oh God Almighty, because in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. Without you, we are not. Daddy, we give you praise. That we slept and we woke up this morning. It is by your mercy. The Bible says it is because of your mercies that we are not consumed. Because your compassion fails, Lord. Glorify your name, Lord. In everything that we are going to do to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I hide myself under the cross. And I decree by the power and the authority in the name of Jesus. Satan will bind you. In this place today, you have no place to stay. You will not distract us. You will not end this program of today. The name of Jesus will be exalted and be magnified in this place today. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Bless every hearer, even those watching online. Heal, deliver, and cause testimony to abound. Bless shall be your name. As I speak for your word this morning, Father, this is not my word. This is the word of the Lord. The Bible says the entrance of your word giveth light, giveth understanding to the very simple. Let your word permeate. Let your word penetrate. Let your word enter into the lives and the situation of every man and every woman. And we will live here rejoicing. We will live here with testimony. Glory and honor be unto you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to sing this song this morning. He is Jehovah, the God of Abraham. He is Jehovah, the God of Isaac. He is Jehovah, the God of Jacob. He is Jehovah, the God that he may be. Come on, John. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. He is Jehovah, the Lord that he let me. He is Jehovah, the God that he let me. Come on, John. He is the God, oh, he is the God. He is Jehovah, the God Almighty. He is Jehovah, the God that he let me. He is Jehovah, the God that he let me. Hallelujah. The presence of God be go with you. God Almighty will be glorified in your life. This morning, as we pray, the, spread, the presence of God, the power of the Holy Spirit will rejuvenate us. Everything that is dead will come alive. Everyone that is sick will receive healing. Everyone that is weak in the body, you will receive energy, supernatural, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We are talking this morning, go. In his strength. Hallelujah. That is the topic this morning. Go in the strength of this Jehovah. Is the man strong and mighty in battle? Jehovah Sabaoth. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Sipheru. Jehovah Rofika. Jehovah, the mighty man in battle. He told you, go in my name. Hallelujah. And he shall. You welcome you. This morning we turn our Bible to the book of Judges in chapter 6. Hallelujah. Gideon began to complain. Amen. We are we this is a story we are very familiar with. Hallelujah. Judges in chapter 6 and verse 14. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Judges in chapter 6. Those with us online, please follow me. Please follow me. Hallelujah. Judges in chapter 6 and verse 14. And the Lord looked upon me, talking about Gideon, and said, Go in this thy might. Hallelujah. And thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. 
Midian. Am I not sent thee? Hallelujah. God Almighty sent Gideon. Praise the name of the Lord. The same way this morning, God has sent you into the land of America. You did not come into America to look at the beauty of the land. You did not come into America to look at the, the white men or the white women here. You did not come here to look at what the, the, the physical things. You came as an ambassador of Jesus Christ. He said, have I not sent you? Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to pray this morning. People of God, if you have lost the purpose and the reason why you are here, go to God in prayer this morning. Pray, Father, lead me, direct me. Hallelujah. Lord, lead me, direct me. I want us to pray this morning. This is our month of freshness. We need a fresh direction from the Lord. Amen. How many of you are tired of old things? God said, Behold, I will do a new thing. He will give you a new direction. He will give you a new purpose. He will give you a new insight. And you will begin to move with God. Hallelujah. And the presence of God will go with you. I want you to pray this morning. Father, I cannot do it all by myself. Let your presence go with you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let your presence go with me. Exodus in 33. Hallelujah. Moses talked to God. He said, Lord, if your presence will not go with me, don't let me go anywhere. Hallelujah. You cannot do it in your mind. You cannot do it in your energy. You cannot do it by your power. You need the presence of God Almighty. I want us to this morning. Oh, The Bible says, by strength shall no man prevail. By strength shall no man prevail. You cannot prevail. In your physical strength, you cannot find a battle in your physical energy. You need the presence of Jehovah. Yeshua is his name. Yeshua is his name. The Lord, strong and mighty. Hallelujah. David told Goliath, He said, I am not intimidated by your height, Goliath. Hallelujah. I am not intimidated by your training. Goliath as a soldier. I am not intimidated by all the hammers that you put on Goliath. Hallelujah. The same God that delivered me from the hand of the bear, from the mouth of the lion, he will deliver you into my hand this morning. Can you look at your situation, mommy and daddy, those watching online? Can you look at your situation and tell that situation you have no final say over me? Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Hey, I said, who has the final say? Ah, Jehovah has the final Come on. Jehovah turns my life around. Ah, Jehovah turns my life around. He makes the way. He makes the way where the seas go. Hallelujah. Jehovah has a Do you know why God is making that way for you? You don't know the way. It is God that knows the way. I want you to pray this one. Father, lead me in the path of holiness. Lead me in the path of righteousness. I want to walk with you. Like, you know, the Bible says, you know, walk with God and God took you. Are you walking with God this morning? I want you to pray. Talk to God. Those watching online. Father, I cannot prevail in my strength. I cannot fight this battle in my energy. Your presence be God with me. Holy Spirit, take absolute control of my journey in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Isaiah in chapter 43. Isaiah in chapter 43. Hallelujah. Isaiah. I want you to know what you people of God, that God Almighty is on your side. Hallelujah. He said, Isaiah 43 and verse 1. But now thus hear the Lord that created you, O Jacob. You can put your name. But thus hear the Lord, O Holy God. But thus hear the Lord, O Holy God. Oh, but thus hear the Lord, O Okuni. Oh, thus hear the Lord, Adeshebu. Oh, thus hear the Lord, O Kalibe. And if that found you, O Israel, fear not. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. For I have redeemed thee. I have bought thee by thy name. Thou art mine. God is jealous about you. Hallelujah. And he's jealously guiding you, securing your life, securing your territory. Jealous. Hallelujah. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindled upon you. He says, since thou was precious in my sight, hallelujah, thou hast been honorable, and I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee, and people for your life. I want you to pray this morning, people of God. Father, Every trouble, every barricade, every stumbling block, every difficulty, every financial problem, crisis, domestic problem that is happening in my family. Lord, take absolute control. You have given me that power. You have given me that deliverance. You have given me that go ahead. I will not fail. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray this morning? Church, it is not only you that have enemies open. Enemies will abound because they will see the glory of God upon your life and they will be jealous about you. The enemy, let them multiply. God Almighty will deliver you. He will put your enemy to shame. He will put that situation to shame. God will glorify his name in your situation, over your children, over your family, in the name that is above every other name. Hallelujah. He is Yeshua. Yeshua, the Lord, who is the captain of the host of the army of the children of Israel. Hallelujah. Ah, I see. The Bible talks about Isaac in Gera. Isaac not the word. And the enemy rose up against Isaac. Maybe enemy have risen up against you. Maybe enemy has risen up against your children. I want you to pray that the tomorrow of your children, the future of your children, is greater than your own future. It's better than your own achievement. In the name that is above every other name. Marco Shekete the brand my Lord, lost the way through the wilderness. Oh, all I have to do is to follow. My Lord, lost the way through the wilderness. Oh, yes. All I have to do is to follow. Are you ready to follow God today? As he is leading you, Jesus Christ, he told them in the book of Mark 16, he said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. The Bible says, and the presence of God was with them as they obeyed the word, as they obeyed the commission. The presence of God, the glory of God was with them. And Jesus was working with them with signs and wonders following. That will be your testimony. Amen. The enemy that think is going to fall you down. God will put them down. Amen. Before your face, he will disgrace your enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ. What the guy told Esther, Esther, adorn yourself. Amen? Get ready. 
go to the king. And the queen faction was completely taken away from the palace. Hallelujah. It's your time of glorification. The Bible says, now let the Lord arise and have mercy upon Zion. He said, because the time to favor Zion is now. The time to favor you is now. People of God, those watching online, the time that God wants to favor you is now. Forget about the pandemic. Forget about the coronavirus. Forget about every evil thing that is happening. God wants to glorify his name. And that is what he's going to do. I want you to pray this morning. Over your children, you will not sorrow. You will not weep. You are, see, many, many years ago, when I was in NIFES, I was a member of the NIFES organization in Nigeria. Many, many years ago, God told me when I was praying, pray for your children. They will not be a victim of straight bullets. Yeah. I never thought of coming to America. Amen? I listen to news. I see what is going on here in the land of America. Even in some other part of the world, people of God, your children will not be victim of stray bullets. In the name of Jesus Christ. Enemy within, enemy without, will not conquer your children. In the name that is above every other name. The presence of God, he will go with you. The Shekinah glory of God, he will cover you. And he shall be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray for yourself this morning. My God, Shekinah, the brother. He will sent you. Yeah, If you are walking in darkness, you will see the light of God. And the Lord will shine his light upon you. In the name of Jesus. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this heart with the Father glory. Place, spirit, place. Set our heart on fire. Flow, flow, river, flow. Flood our nation with grace and mercy. Set forth your word, Lord, and let yeah In one minute. I want you to pray over every dark area in your life. The light of God will begin to shine. Go in that mind. Go in the strength of God. David told Goliath, I am not intimidated by you. I am not because God Almighty is on my side and it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you for your work this morning. Father, as your people go in your strength, as your people go, by your word. As your people go in that name that is above every other name, they will not be put to shame. They will not be disappointed. Sickness and affliction, financial difficulty, domestic problem, crisis on every side will not overwhelm them. In the name that is above every other name. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, you know, in the Lord's Prayer, we constantly, uh, we constantly repeat and recite. There's a line that says, Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth. So we must remember how that will is carried out and is done in large part to us. So that's why the topic for this morning, Anna, is ambassadors for Christ. So we can open to 
Second Corinthians 5 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be reconciled to God. So, here at Ambassadors, we uh, will probably think of a regular political ambassador, which is used for diplomacy and negotiations between two countries. And while there are some similarities like that you are a representative and that you're carrying out a message, there are also differences in that an ambassador for Christ must have a has to be able to connect through personal relationships. And also, you must be an ambassador everywhere you go, not just at to one specific place. Because in Matthew 28, 19, Jesus says that we are disciples of to all nations. So we can't just pick and choose where we are ambassadors to and where we represent them. To be, to be an ambassador to Christ, you must have knowledge, wisdom, in obedience to Christ. We also must not forget about our behavior. We have to lead by example because actions speak our words. And we can see how Jesus wants us to be ambassador for him in John 13, 34 to 35. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. So when one does a poor job being an ambassador of Christ, behavior is the common shortfall that they have. And this verse in John 13 is most commonly the one that is forgotten. When people of the world see the same people that flaunt themselves as representatives of Christ, do acts that are not with Christ, such as lying to lift yourself up, gossip to bring someone else down, or deceiving to take advantage of other people. They will think that the kingdom of God is unappealing. If this is what you've done as a supposed ambassador for Christ, have you not done anything else but hurt the kingdom that you come to serve? So we can see how Jesus addressed this in Matthew 23, 16 to 17. Woe unto you, ye blind guards, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a devil. Ye fools and blind, whether is whether is the, the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold. So we must remember to use the church of Christ as a vessel to lift others up rather than using it to bring others down or to feel higher than other people and try to continue to keep them at the bottom. So overall, you must remember that in the master, to be an ambassador for Christ, it takes knowledge obedience to Christ and most importantly behavior. And when we fail to remember the the part of the behavior, then we are only hurting the kingdom of God rather than helping those people. So okay. So let us pray. Dear Lord, 
thank you for giving us the topic of Jesus Christ as we're going out to school or sport. Please remain in our hearts and remind us to be good ambassadors for you and let us remember to treat others with love and to be ambassadors through our actions, not only our words, and also protect us while we're doing so. And let us overall enjoy the justice for the world. Please thank you.
protection of the Lord, pray concerning their future. The Bible says that the thought of the Lord put us and put to us our children. Let's pray for the Lord. And they will be under the canopy of the Lord. Be under the shadow of my people. Protection of the Lord is so
Lay my hand on all our children. Our thing for this, for today is finger um, of God is go in the strength of the Lord. All these children you are going in the might of the Lord. You are going in the power of the Lord. What led to that passage in the book of Judges, chapter 6? The Bible says there that the enemies, the Midianites and the Amorites, they started threatening the children of Israel. Killing them, trying to do the people they are saying, Oh, but God took us out of Egypt. This was, 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 not, was not, not the promise. Now, now that we are children of God, Look at the way the Ammonites uh, and uh, the Pimitianites uh, and the Ammonites are uh, treating uh, us. Uh, and the angel of the Lord spoke to a man called Gideon. Hallelujah. And God told Gideon, Don't worry. You are going in the might of the Lord. And in the name of Jesus, these children are going in the might of the Lord. These children are going in the power of the Lord. I know that there are children of Amorites and Midianites taking girls to, 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 to go to school to give innocent children. These children, the Lord God of heaven will preserve them. Yeah. Well, as I pray, as I lay in my hands and pray for all children, the glory and the power of God will go with you. Yeah. The might of the Lord will go with you. No evil child before many of you. In the name of Jesus, those that are here and those that are not here, but the associated with these local church or with me, wherever they are, because my own theological children are not here, they are also in school. And wherever they are, the might of the Lord will go there. Wherever you go, brothers and children, the might and the power of God will go with you. Father in heaven, we pray for these children. They are our glory, they are our joy. And I pray that the Midianites, the order represented in governors, going to schools to kill children. Midianites, our rights, represented as people carrying guns hey, to kill people. Father, ah, they will not go with you. The angels of the Lord will come around these children. The glory of the Lord will come around these children. This is my hand as I lay it upon these children. It is the hand of man. But Jesus, let this hand become yours. Let this hand become yours. As this hand is over to school, school. Lord, let the hand of the Lord encamp around them. Let the glory of the Lord encamp around them. And in the name of Jesus, they will go in the might of the Lord. They will go in the strength of the Lord. They will go in the power of the Lord. No evil that will come here in you. No evil for the animal. Bless them in the name of the Lord. We will praise and glory. Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. Thank you and thank you. Thank you, dear Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen. As I lay my hand on you, children, can you go? I mean, Mama, dear. Quickly, can you quickly go? Hey, bro. Yeah. Good. That's the one that mama wearing white cap. Go and meet her. The Lord go with you. Go in the mind of the Lord. Go in the power of the Lord. Go in the mind of the Lord. Go in the mind of the Lord. Go in the power of the Lord. Go with go with you. Go with you. In the name of Jesus. The gate of all your schools. 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 All your no violence will come here. In the name of Jesus, the schools will become kosher. The schools will become kosher. For the power of God and the glory of God will go there. And accompany you there. Good news will continue here. Concerning you, concerning you, as you go back to your school, as you, as you go back, God Almighty will surround you with the host of heaven, with the host of heaven. In the name of Jesus. Go in the might of the Lord. Uh, God told uh, uh, the angel of the Lord, told uh, Gideon, said, Don't be afraid. Gideon was asking, When you get home, go and read that Judges chapter 6. When you get home, and they told uh, the, they said, uh, the, uh, 
give your father asking. Say, ah, where are those uh, miracles? The promise of our fathers. The miracle of the Lord we're going to. Yeah. Go in the light of the Lord. The power of God we're going to. The glory of the Lord we're going to. The presence of God. We are coming, each and every one of you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God will be your God. God will be your strength. No evil shall be for you. Our parents shall rise up. Shall rise up. Shall we not commit this sin? Mama said, Abi Yaman, Abi Yaman, lift up your voices unto the Lord. I want all of us now to lift our voices unto the Lord. That as these children go, no evil shall come near any of them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Bless in the name of the Lord. Oh, we give you praise and glory and honor. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Father, we want to thank you for this short service that we have held, Lord, in honor of our children as they go back to school. Lord, we ask that you be the head around them. The power of the Lord will be with them. The glory of the Lord will go with them. They are going in the might of the Lord. They are not going in their strength. They are not going in the strength of their parents. But they are going in the might of the Lord. And Jesus, we go into you. Thank you for hearing us. Bless in the name of the Lord. For we pray with hands given. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we put our hands together? I mean, shall, we, shall we sit there? Hallelujah. Just before I go, we want to thank God for the children that God has given unto us in this local shop. Hallelujah. Now, I've been talking about the three musketeers. <laughs> you see, some years ago, you know, on, on this children, I mean, uh, the John of Harry Day and the James of Harry Day, they were there in charge of our media department. Hallelujah. And uh, the Lord bless uh, uh, Obari Day Junior. I mean, Obari Day James. No, 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 John. He went to school, he went to college, he has graduated. Good. Our dear brother, our dear son, Obafemi Obaje went to college, he will soon graduate and uh, will be a strength. And honor and joy for the parents. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. But there is one of them left. And that's what I call it. I go, I said the three musketeers. <laughs> the three. And the first test that was given to him. In was in his class, whether he could recite the old Bible, the books of the Bible. And surprisingly, as a boy, uh, he was able to recite the 66 books of the Bible. Hallelujah. And from there, the class teacher felt, no, this one, even though uh, he still, he, 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 he fell into our children department. But we have to move him out as a children department. And of course, the, the, the up, you know, thank God for these children. Unlike when I was grown, you know, I wasn't as huge as some of these children. When you see them, because they don't carry any load on their head, <laughs> and they eat good food, not only carbohydrates, you know, balanced diet, and so you see them very huge. So, the other two in the media, the from his right from his uh,
on uh, a brother, Deacon Alabi, to come and present the letter to him. Hallelujah. It's a letter of commendation. It's like a testimonial. And you know, in America, they value this type of thing. Hallelujah. Father, the Lord bless you. God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, we want to thank you. We are praying for all our children. We ask, oh God, they will be light. Wherever they go, they will shine. Lord God of heaven, I ask that their glory, their glory will not be tainted. <laughs> their glory, Lord God of heaven, will not be tainted. The glory of these children, wherever they go, Father, Lord God of heaven, we pray that they will be marked for celebration. Amen. Thank you for hearing us. Our prayer is that these children will be better than us. Amen. They will be better than their parents. Amen. They will be better than me. Amen. I said they will be better than me. Amen. They don't accept me. They will be secular. I became the chief executive of, 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 of a company. Not just a company, a company that is, that is registered a public hotel company. And uh, I left that. And I am doing the work of the Lord. And by the grace of God, in terms of uh, education, by God's grace, I go to the people. These children will be better than me. Yeah. I pray for all of you. Children, under my voice, you will be better than I in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. I want to use this opportunity to thank God for his word spoken through our body to the children. It shall be found in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. And they shall be among the living that will testify to God's goodness in their lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Is everyone in our midst for the first time today? Online through our top of line for the Bible studies from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that's the top of line showing on the screen. And on Wednesday, we come together at the Church of Trillion to pray from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. That is not online. You come to Church of Trillion. We started it and we've been turning out good. So we see expect more members to come together and pray. So if you know me, take your time and come. It's just one hour praying time before the Lord. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. here in Church of Ontario. And may the Lord bless us as we join in Jesus' name. And on Friday from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. is our all-night praying time. We'll come together online to our church conference and join on the screen to pray for just two hours. 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and answer our prayers in Jesus' name. And on Sunday, as we all will come together, we just come together to pray for just 25 minutes. That means we come to church at 10 o'clock to join the praying time. So we we'll pray for 25 minutes after we come here to the church of the program to start the program by 10 30. And we'll start the church program with the finger of God. And after that, we'll move to morning manner. 
and them to praise and worship service. Amen. And uh, I will ask our members, you always come late, change the attitude, come early to church, start the program. I mean, you don't spend much time, do we? We close early now. So when you come early, then you attend every program and you shall glory with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Often time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, King of the Lord. I, I believe we have all packaged our offering and we are ready because we have come bringing ourselves to the Lord. And I want to bring that which we are giving unto us. The book of Isaac, chapter 48, verse 17 says something like that. If you want that, Teach us all how to profit. He teach us how to profit. He has taught us. He has led us the way. He has given us the work. And we have done that which we have been able to do. And what he demands is that bring a tent of that which he has taught you. Bring it unto me. That I might be meet my soul. What you bring is not for the pastor or whatever, but for the kingdom, the work of God to expand. Our tithe is for the expansion of the work of God. Our offering is for the expansion of the work of God. So let's lift up our offering. Let's lift up our tithe. And let's prophesy over it. You have labeled, you have, God has taught you how to, to walk. Prophesy over it. Prophesy prosperity. Prophesy health. Prophesy wholeness. Prophesy the wisdom of God. Prophesy the knowledge of God that you'll be able to do it exceedingly abundantly to His glory. And joy shall be yours. And multiplication shall come to you. Heavenly Father, we just want to bless and worship you. Even as we obey your word this morning. We come into a storehouse, not in an empty hand. And anyone who hasn't got a physical money, rather that you will open this online, that you will be able to know the benefit of bringing to you, of giving back unto you. Because you said, when we give, you will give back unto us, press down, shaking together, and running over. Father, open each and every one of us to that understanding. That the urge, the willingness to bring to you shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you as we lift it up. We thank you for your hands upon it, and we thank you for the joy that is out. To the glory of your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Our Father and our God, we thank you for you are so good. Thank you for your loving kindness. Bible says the loving kindness of God is even better than love. Thank you for all that you have done in our life today. Thank you, Lord, for that you will still do. Give you praise and glory. Hallelujah. Father, receive our thanks and praises in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The hour has come for us to hear from you. And I pray, Lord, that you will speak to us expressly, even at this hour, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray, Lord, that your word will come with authority and with simplicity. Amen. And that, Lord, your word, O oh God, will go forth and do that which you have, which you have sent it for to do, even in our lives, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The entrance of your word give us life, understand it, even unto the simple. Father, I pray that Jesus will increase in me while I decrease. Amen. And Jesus shall be high, even in our midst this morning in the name of Jesus. This Lord, knowing my tongue like the pen of a ready writer. Amen. And let me speak to also, Lord, with authority. Amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Let's say be your holy name. Jesus, on the name we are praying. Praise the name of the Lord. This Master Jesus. Amen. I want to thank God again for this opportunity that the Lord has given to me to speak even at this hour. I want to also thank my Father and the Lord who has given me the privilege and our mommy. Our theme for this month is fresh glory. Everybody say it. Say it again. Fresh glory. And I pray that the glory of the Lord shall always be fresh in our lives in the name of Jesus. This theme is taken from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1. Permit me to read from verse 1 to 3. And then we'll read the second scripture too. And then we'll go into the world. Isaiah 16. Arise, shine. For your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the air. And deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. Amen. 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 The Gentiles shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your eyes. Can you say amen to that again? Amen. amen. That will be your portion, and it will be my portion in the name of Jesus. The second scripture is from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians 3, 18. And I read, but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Again, God will take you and I from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. 
let me acknowledge and thank our daddy and everyone that has spoken, particularly during our Sunday service, people who have been ministering, even on this topic. Those who attended, who joined us at the conference, not only the Bible study, was so awesome. May the Lord continue to bless his word into our lives in Jesus' name. My topic this morning says, showing forth his glory. Showing forth his glory. And by way of introduction, I'd like to tell us what glory is. The glory of God is never old on the part of God. But it can be old and fade away on the part of man. I was told of the story of a man in Asia. He was a professor of history. But the glory of the Lord faded away in his life. That he fell out of God's love. And each time anybody wants to hear about the history of the entire world, all they need to buy to give you for him is to buy him some wine. And then he will sit back and we begin to refresh. We tell you the story of Europe. European history, this is European history you want to hear, he will tell you. Put it later in the university again, they are fell out. They do not fall out of God's glory in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And may the glory of God not fade away in your life in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So when we walk, when we talk about fresh glory. We are talking about you and I. God's glory remains ever fresh with God. The impact of your life and ministry on earth will be determined by the state of the glory of God upon your life. We will definitely make greater and long lasting impact in life on earth when the glory of God is fresh in our life. And I pray that the glory of God will be fresh in our life today in the name of Jesus. But we will make less impact if the glory has faded away. I mean, the glory of the Lord not fade away in your life in the name of Jesus. The question I ask then is why are people struggling with the work of the Lord today? Why are people struggling even with the work that the Lord has given unto them? Why is it that men and women consult means and media? Rather than the Holy Spirit for miracles, for signs and for wonders. Many people go all about to fake prophets who will we add to their problem rather than waiting upon the Lord and looking into the scripture and asking God, What do you want me to do? The answer is simple. It is because the glory of God has faded away and it is no longer fresh in their life. Pray again that the glory of God do not fade away in your life and in my life in the name of Jesus. My topic again is showing forth His glory. And I have divided this topic into three. I'll be talking to you this morning about consistently walk in the land. Consistently walk in the land. And number two, consistently walk in love. Number two, consistently walk in love. And number three, consistently live in holiness. Consistently live in holiness. Let me again begin with the definition of fresh glory. Glory is the awesome presence of God. More than presence is in the power of God. The power of God delivers us from all forms of darkness. The power of God will restore us, and I pray that somebody under my voice this morning will be restored in the name of Jesus. The power of God, the presence of God, transform life. Your life and my life today will be transformed in the name of Jesus. The power of God, the presence of God, makes us to overcome all forms of challenges and problems. In the name of the Lord, every challenge is and problem before you today, by the power and the presence of God, you will overcome in the name of Jesus. I say you will overcome in the name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 4, verse 8. 
The word glory in Hebrew is carbon. And carbon means, but not limited to number one, abundance. Abundance. Matthew 4, 8 says it's about the temptation about the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Satan took him to a mountain so high and he showed him the entire world and he asked him, if you can bow down for me, oh, all this will be yours. But Jesus repeats him because abundance is of the Lord, not of Satan. We pray the name of the Lord. God, we grant unto you abundance this morning in the name of Jesus. Glory also means honor. It means dignity. It means beauty. Psalm 29, verse 1 and 2 says, Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty, give unto the Lord glory and strength. Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his way. Praise the name of the Lord. What then is fresh glory? Told you about what glory is. Fresh glory to me simply means new life in Christ. New life in Christ. Or new fire into the work of the ministry for better results. For maximum productivity. As God releases fresh glory upon each and every one of us today in the name of the Lord, he will be empowered to do his work greater than he even expected us to do it in the name of Jesus. The book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 we have just read the scripture. He said, but we all, with open face, beholding as in glass the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory. In other words, God expects you and I to continue to move from one level of glory to glory. We will never, never be stagnant in life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord continue to take us into a higher glory in the name of Jesus. How then can I show forth? glory. He said, number one, consistently walk in the light. What is light? God is light. I'm not going to give you the definition of light in accordance with uh, the physician. Or the, the physicist. Those people who study this engineering. But according to the scripture, God is light. God is light. And light is absolutely pure. Huh? It is impossible to defy. In the book of 1 John chapter 1, verse 5, the Bible says, This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you that God is light and in him no darkness at all. The scripture says there is no variable of darkness. God is light and God is pure. And that is why I want to tell us, including me, that we all need to walk in the light. We need to walk in the light. How do we walk in the light? Run away from sin. You must run away from sin. The book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. The Bible says, He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil will stay there from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So if you want to walk in the light, you need to run away from sin. Two, you need to read the word of God daily. Read, study, oh, meditate on the word of God. Have faith in it, believe in it, and also be obedient to the word of God. The word of God purifies our heart and it draws us closer to the Lord. It makes God's glory to be fresh in our lives. And that will be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. David said in Psalm 119, verse 11, he said, Thy word have I hid in my heart so that I will not sin against you. When you read the word consistently and you store it in your heart, it will make you to fear God 
and to run away from sin. May we continue to live oh, in the light and walk in the light and run away from sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to also run away from every appearances of the devil. Run away from sin, read the war, and run away oh, from every appearances of the devil. Do good and clean business. Don't engage yourself in fraudulent practices because your sin will find you out. Your sin will find you out. Sin is a torment, and therefore, you must run away from sin. Why was it that King Saul of Israel started well and he ended badly? Because the Spirit of God, the presence of God, departed from him. May the presence of God not depart from you and I in the name of Jesus. God gave him an instruction and he disobeyed God, asked him to go and destroy the Amalekites. And when he got there, he destroyed some. He brought against this war. And even when Samuel was asking him, what, have you done what God asked you to do? He, he lied again, said he had done it. He arrived, sheep was crying, even at the back there. He said, what about what I'm hearing? He said, I have brought it unto God, even for, for sacrifice. He disobeyed God. And his, the presence of God blessed him. The Bible says, the spirit of the Lord left him, and an evil spirit came upon him. That's how one's glory can fade away. That's how one's glory can depart from him. In the name of the Lord, the glory of God will not depart from you in the name of Jesus. You know what happened? He now became somebody who, instead of consulting God, he was consulting medium. He was going to witches to go and ask what will happen. May that not be your portion. May that not be my portion in the name of Jesus. So in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 14, the Bible says, For the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And in 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse 5 to 7, the Bible says, And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid. That's what sin will make you do. It will make you live in, in, in fear at all times. You know, when you disobey God, you will continue to live in fear. But when you obey God, you know, everything will go normally with you. He was afraid and his heart was very tremble. And when he saw, he inquired of the Lord. The Lord answered him not. God did not answer him again. He departed from him totally. May that not be your portion and my portion in the name of Jesus. So when God did not uh, answer him, he then went to another meeting to consult. Uh -huh. The Bible says that when and when he inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by your read, that is sacred law, nor by prophets. So if you have been dreaming before, and you no longer dream, you need to check your life. You need to pray to God and ask him all those revelations that have been shown to you so that you can restore them. I pray again that the glory of God will not depart from you and I in the name of Jesus. Then so saw the prophet servant. He said, seek me a woman that had a familiar spirit, that I did go to her and inquire of her. And the servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that has a familiar spirit in her. That was what he now went into. Secondly, how can I show forth his glory? By consistently walking in love. God's love includes mercy. God's love includes goodness, kindness, and compassion. God is love, and love is the heart of God's nature. In the book of 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, the Bible says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, but God is love. Do you love God? If you love God, you will come consistently with his house. You will obey his instructions. You need to love God, brethren. In Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31, the Bible says, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all your heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And the second one is like this. 
namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than this. Thank God for what we had even during our morning manner this morning. This same message was part of the law that we need to love God and we need to love one another. If you want God's glory to continue to increase in your life, because if I increase and it can be great, you need to love the Lord and you need to love your neighbor. You need to love people around you. And as you do so, His glory will continue to be multiplied in your life in the name of Jesus. What is the evidence to show that we love God? One of the answers was given by Jesus himself in John chapter 14, verse 23. And Jesus said, He said, If a man loves me, he will keep my words. And my father will love him and will come unto him and make our abode with him. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus said, If you love me, God, if you love him, then you will be somebody who will be obedient to his word. Praise the name of the Lord. So, how can I show for his glory? Number three, by consistently living in holiness. I told you firstly that you need to consistently walk in the light. And two, that you need to consistently walk in love. And number three now, you need to consistently live in holiness. You need to live holy. You need to live in righteousness. God is holy. He cannot sin. He loves sinners, but he is sin. He is pure and cannot tolerate sin. That is why you must run away from sin. Holiness is God's inward character. The Lord is glorious in holiness. Exodus chapter 15, verse 12, verse 11. Saying, Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Among gods. Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in places, doing wonder. And in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 1 and 2, he commanded us to be holy. Said, We should live holy. Because he himself, he is holy. He is holy. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, as is also speaking to you and I now, and say unto them, Ye shall be holy, for the Lord your God is holy. So if we want to move from glory to glory, then we must live our life in holiness. We must live our life in holiness. Joseph lived holy. Despite all that Potiphar did to make him sin, he ran away. He did not allow that woman to cut short his dream. He did not allow her Oh, to influence him in such a way that he will abandon his way. Joseph, despite all Potiphar did to derail him and make his dream, you know, violent, he stood firm. In Genesis chapter 39, verse 9, the Bible, he, he, he told what he was saying. He said, How can I do this wickedness? How can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? Children of God, we must run away from sin. We must live holy. We must live holy. We must live holy. And the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The one that really surprised me is the, is the life of Samson. Each time when I study the, the, the word of God in the book of Judges, beginning from chapter 13, oh, it touches my life. This is a man that God has ordained even from the womb to be in Nazareth and to be the one that will be a judge and deliver his people. Yet, he messed up his life through loss. He messed up his life. So the book of Judges, chapter 13, verse 2, the Bible says, He was in Nazareth unto God. 
from the womb who was to be judge and leader in Israel to deliver them from their oppressors. He tragically squandered the spiritual heritage and gifts of God in him because of love. He lived a self centered life of love and was stripped of his power. The Lord stripped him of his power, stripped him of his dignity. You know, his eyes was punched out. His light went away. He became somebody who was living all in darkness. Somebody who was so much ordained, whose God's glory was so much on him that he would have been so great in life, better than what he was, but through love, he messed up. May you not mess up your life in the name of Jesus Christ. May I not mess up my life in the name of Jesus. So it is important that we must live in holiness. In John chapter 16, verse 20, the Bible says, and she said, the Philistines be upon you, Samson, and he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as at other times before and shake myself and he was not that the Lord was departed from me. May the Lord glory not depart from your life in the name of Jesus. May the Lord not glory not depart from my life in the name of Jesus. Prophesy to yourself and say, May the glory of the Lord not depart from my life. Prophesy to your spouse, May the glory of the Lord not depart from the life of my spouse. Prophesy to all your children and say, May the glory of the Lord not depart from any of my children. Those of all that have children, children, let's pray for time in their life. And may the glory of the Lord not depart from the life of our grandchildren in the name of Jesus Christ. The glory of God has already departed from something yet. He did not realize it. He didn't know. He was still going as if it was of the old. Today I pray in the name of the Lord. May the glory of the Lord be fresh in our lives in the name of Jesus. Don't forget that this was again. Three things. One is that we need to walk in the life. We need to walk in love. And we need to consistently live in holiness. Let's write upon our page. For the glory must be to the Lord. To the Lord. For he is worthy of the day. of ones that are online, I would like you to pray this morning or this afternoon and tell God, Lord, let your glory be fresh in my life. Release upon me today, this afternoon, Lord, release upon me fresh glory, fresh glory, fresh glory. Let your glory be fresh in my life. Let me live my life for you, Lord. Father, help me to live my life for you, to walk in the land, to walk in law, and to consistent, oh, live in holiness. Lord, help me that my life will not be derailed. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray, 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 pray. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we will pray. If you are here this morning, you have never at any time given your life to Jesus, this is an opportunity for you. I'd like you to please just Raise up your hand wherever you are. Make sure to ask you to come back if you are to come. Raise up your hand. Put your hand by your, your right by your, by your chest and confess your sins. Ask God to forgive you. If you are watching me online, please you are listening to me. Confess your sins. Say, Lord, please have mercy upon me. Forgive me my sin. Oh, I talk before you today. Lord, please write my name in the book of life. From today, help me to live my life for you. I am born again. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that you are shared. Thank you for speaking to us. We give you praise and glory. May I exalt the Lord in the name of Jesus. 
I pray again to read the name of the Lord that you will help us, O oh God, to walk in the light, to walk in righteousness, to walk in love, and to live, O oh God, in holiness. Help us, O oh God, as we do this, that you will release fresh glory upon every one of us in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that we move us from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, that our glory will not fade away in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Almighty Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Let's rise up as we bless the name of the Lord for today. God in the glory. Hallelujah to God. Be the glory. Everything Children resumed last Monday. Some will be resuming as from this week. Lord, we want to thank you for all these gifts of these children to us. Our prayer is that Lord, you will keep them. You will take care of them. Your glory will never depart from these children. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, they will be going back to school. Lord, that you told us during the Finger of God. That uh, our thing for that finger of God is go in the strength of the Lord. Go in the might of the Lord. That was the command that you gave unto Gideon. Lord, uh, in the presence, uh, even though all the Midianites, the, 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 the Amorites, they were threatening them, harassing them. But you, the angels of the Lord told uh, Gideon, go in the might of the Lord. Father, I pray this day. That as our children will be going back to school, Lord, they will go in your strength. Amen. They will go in your might. Your glory, Lord, will not depart from them. Your presence will not depart from these children. Every gate, all of the, the classrooms where these children are, where every gate of the school of each of our children, Father, we pray it shall become the gate of praise. No violence will be mentioned there. The power of God will surround the place. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for hearing us. Thank you, Lord, for the way you spoke to us during the morning manner. All these children are going in all their schools. They are Christ ambassadors. They are representing light. I pray, Lord God of heaven, as your ambassador, these children will become living Bible. Amen. Oh, they will become a peaceful of life. Wherever they go, the glory of the Lord, Lord God of heaven, we never, never, Lord, fade away. 
in the lives of these children. They will not join any, any peer group that will bring God, the glory of God into, into disdain in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Bless them in the name of the Lord. And because they are Christ ambassadors, Father, all the immunities, all the immunities that they need as your children, oh, Father, I ask of God, the enemy will not infiltrate into those immunities. We thank you for bearing rocks. Bless them in the name of the Lord. Want to thank you, Lord God of heaven, even for all your word that has come forth today. It came out, you are enjoyed of us, that uh, God knows to walk forth in God's glory, that we must consistently and constantly walk in love. Oh Lord, we pray that walk in love, walk in light, and walk in purity. I pray, dear Lord, that in the name of Jesus Christ, none of us shall become ex anointed. No one in this place, no one who, particularly all the pastors, I pray for you, Saul became an ex anointed. The glory of the Lord departed from him. No pastor in this place, God shall become ex anointed. In the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of the Lord departed from Samson. <laughs> he thought he still had power. He was checking himself, checking himself, not going. Now that uh, the power had left him. I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, from glory to glory, you will take all of us. Amen. From glory to glory, you will take us. Amen. From power to power, Lord, you will take us. Amen. From strength to strength, you will take us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So that no God of heaven, when the accusers of the brethren will come, you will say, you devil, I have no business with you. Oh, Father, I pray, let that be our word for Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Father, for bearing us. We are going to the week. Make it a week of joy, Amen. a week of victory, Amen. a week of power, Amen. a week of prosperity. As many as will be traveling by road, by air, Lord, we we'll go with them. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for their brother, Bon, who celebrated his birthday two days, uh, two days ago on the 12th of this month. Thank you, Lord God of heaven, for this young man. I ask, oh God, that the glory of the Lord will never depart from him. The glory of the Lord will never depart from his family. Thank you, Lord. Because he has associated, oh, with the work here, oh, ministering on this altar. I pray, Lord God of heaven, that wherever he is and wherever he is coming, but, oh God, your glory will be fresh in him. Your anointing will be fresh in him. We thank you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord be the head around you. May you continue to move from glory to glory. All oh, my brethren, all right. All oh, my fathers, sons, mothers, all right. May the glory of the Lord never depart from you. Thank you, dear Lord. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you, abide with you, abound in your lives. For oh, now, until Jesus comes. Amen. Thank you, dear to bless us until the three verses. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.